Football is heavily dependent on two things, skill and luck. Skills can be developed and worked on, but luck? There's not much you can do there. You either have it or you don't. Some of the world's most talented players have been unlucky at some point in their respective careers, whether it's losing streaks or missing out on trophies due to losing multiple finals. Sit back and let's go through some of football's unluckiest players. Marco Reus German international Marco Reus has been a star player for Borussia Dortmund since signing for the club in 2012, but has faced unfavourable luck throughout his time at the club. Let's start with the 2013 Champions League final where Royce took part in a tough 2-1 loss to Bayern Munich with Ian Robben scoring in the 89th minute to win the game. Fast forward to the following year, 2014, Royce suffered an ankle injury in an international friendly versus Armenia that would keep him out of the World Cup in Brazil. Germany would go on to win the World Cup. Tough luck for a player who was in the form of his life having ended the Bundesliga season with 29 goal contributions, the highest ever of his career. Injuries would unfortunately continue to haunt Royce as he ended up missing the 2016 Euros due to a groin injury. In the 2017-18 campaign, Royce sustained a cruciate ligament injury, keeping him sidelined for many months and missing out in the German winning Confederations Cup in 2017. For a player with so much talent and promise, it sure is unfortunate that he wasn't able to achieve success through winning trophies. Oh, and did I mention that he's never managed to win the Bundesliga? Zlatan Ibrahimovic A footballer famously known for his charisma and confidence, Zlatan has had his fair share of bad luck. Throughout his career, Zlatan has played in a lot of clubs and achieved individual success as well as club successes, but he could have won more had it not been for some untimely transfers. In 2009, in a famous swap deal between Inter Milan and Barcelona, Zlatan joined Barcelona while Samuel Eto'o joined Inter. Well, coincidentally, it was bad timing for Zlatan as he would end up watching Inter win an unprecedented treble that season, winning the Serie A, Coppa Italia and Champions League. To add to his misfortune, he didn't have much success at Barcelona and was loaned out to AC Milan the following season in 2010-11, where Barca would end up winning a double, including La Liga and the Champions League. Had it not been for these untimely transfers, Zlatan could have added two Champions League medals to his collection, a trophy that eluded him his whole career. Michael Ballack This German legend has a decorated resume, but he would be the first to admit he could have achieved much more. So much more. Let's go back to the 2001-2002 season, where he experienced a series of heart-wrenching disappointments. He narrowly missed out on winning the Bundesliga title with Bayern Leverkusen by one point. Shortly after, Balak and Leverkusen went on to lose the DFB Pokal final 4-2 against Schalke and fell short losing the Champions League final 2-1 against Real Madrid, where Zidane scored that goal. Yeah, that one. To add insult to the injury, Balak would be part of the 2002 World Cup campaign with Germany, where they lost the final 2-0 against that star-studded Brazil team. History would repeat itself in 2008 for Balak. Balak and Chelsea would miss out on the Premier League title, falling short to Manchester United. Luckily, or should I say unluckily, they had a chance to get their revenge in the Champions League final, but we know how that ended up, with John Terry's iconic slip in the penalty shootout. Balak would then join Germany for the 2008 Euros, where they ultimately made the final, but lost to the Golden Generation Spain team. Talk about a streak of bad luck. Balak surely had it rough. Sergio Aguero Just imagine how it would feel as a player if your club wins a treble and your country wins the World Cup right after you retire. Well, that's exactly how Sergio Aguero felt back in 2022 and 2023 when both Manchester City and Argentina achieved those exact feats. When it comes to Man City, Aguero is a club legend and his last-minute league-winning goal in 2012 is considered one of the biggest moments in the club's history. But through his entire time at the club, Aguero was never able to win the Champions League and for the club to win it shortly after his retirement proves a bit unlucky. 
With Argentina, he was among the top names to be called for every major international tournament, and having fallen short in the 2014 World Cup, Aguero sure would have liked to have taken part in the 2022 World Cup winning campaign in Qatar. Antoine Griezmann This French forward becomes a feature in this list as he has had to face a string of misfortunes in his career. In 2016, he played a pivotal role in leading Atletico Madrid to the Champions League final, only to suffer a dramatic defeat to Real Madrid in a penalty shootout. That same year, just weeks after the Champions League final, he spearheaded France's campaign in the UEFA Euros 2016, scoring six goals and winning the Golden Boot. But ultimately, he and France fell short in the final against Portugal, losing 1-0 in extra time. Then there is his quest for a La Liga title. Having played his entire career in La Liga, Griezmann has yet to lift the league trophy. The more ironic fact is that after transferring from Atletico to Barcelona in 2019, Atletico clinched the league title in the 2020-21 season. Then after returning to Atletico, Barcelona won the league in the 2022-23 season. Okay, that is one unlucky man. If that is the thought you are having right now, let me tell you about one man who is considered as a synonymous term as bad luck in the football world. Harry Kane Of course this list couldn't be finished without mentioning the name of this brilliant English striker. This man has the weirdest combination of skill and bad luck. Renowned for his goal-scoring ability, Kane has consistently been one of the top strikers in the Premier League, winning the Golden Boot three times and scoring over 200 goals in the competition. But despite his amazing individual records, Kane didn't win a single trophy in his 14 years in London. Well, we could count up the Audi Cup in 2019, but we won't count pre-season tournaments here. So, just with the dream of winning a trophy and putting his skills to proper use, he joined Bayern Munich this season where Bayern had managed to win the Bundesliga for the past 11 years. In his first official game for the club, Kane had the opportunity to win the DFL Super Cup, but Bayern lost 3-0 against RB Leipzig. Talk about bad luck. In the Bundesliga, Kane didn't drop a beat and was scoring goals left, right and centre. He even managed to break a record for most goals in the first half of the season. But it just so happened that he joined Bayern Munich the season that Leverkusen would go on to win an undefeated Bundesliga title, ending the 11-year winning streak of Bayern Munich. Which one of these players would you say had the worst misfortune? What other players would you add to the list? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.